Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing an evening cook and clean with me. We have a few things going on in the back of the house that were completely unexpected so I wanted to end the night off being productive and also doing a fun activity to take our baby's mind off the busy day. So I want to bring you guys along with us to tackle the evening and prepare for the day that's to come. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Vantasia and I post motivating content like this weekly. And if you enjoyed today's video, I would love to have you join my family by hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. So I'm jumping right in. We were making baked chicken with potatoes and peas. I did make asparagus as a snack for Jaquin and myself because it's one of our favorite snacks. However, tonight was our first night having baked chicken smothered with cream of mushroom. So it was interesting, but was definitely a meal that we did love. Here you guys see Jaquin cutting up the peppers for our salad. Everything else was pretty much done. I just had to go in and get our eggs started. And then I wanted to go ahead and season the chicken so we can go ahead and get that in in the oven. To season our meat, I wanted to try something a tad bit different, so I went ahead and seasoned it with seasoned salt, jalapeno salt, and also some season it all along with salt and pepper. So as I said earlier, I did go ahead and get some asparagus on for Jaquin and myself. You guys, I have seriously been craving asparagus. I absolutely love asparagus on a regular basis, but here lately I have been wanting to eat it so much and Jaquin has too, so we have been making it like crazy. So once Jaquin got the potatoes all washed and prepped, I just wanted to go ahead and get them seasoned and put into the oven. I love to season our potatoes with garlic salt, salt and pepper, with a tad bit of Cajun seasoning along with seasoned salt, you guys. This is how I grew up eating whole potatoes and I love me some seasoned potatoes. And our babies do too, so I try to make this as often as I can. Tonight, to go along with our meal, we're making a salad. Jaquan and I absolutely love a good salad, and surprisingly, our babies do too. So we try to take advantage of this and make a salad three to four times a week, and we try to load up with our salad. Tonight was limited, so I added cucumbers, ham, cheese, peppers, eggs, and a veggie mix that consisted of cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots.
going our way. Yeah, yeah. Everything will be okay. Cause no one else can make me feel this way. Yeah. I'm completely satisfied. Right. As long as you're by my side. Oh. So if you love me, let me hear you say my name. Tonight, I did plan on getting the cake box out for the kids. I had planned on surprising them with the cake. However, they peeped it out, y'all. They peeped that I had got their cake box out, and they were just like, no, let's make cupcakes. So they joined in, and we made cupcakes and a very small cake, and they really enjoyed it. However, we didn't ice the cake until after dinner.
So once the chicken was almost finished, I wanted to go ahead and take it out and add the cream of mushroom. Like I said earlier, this was our first time trying this meal and this was so good. We have to make this again. The reason we decided to go with chicken is because we seriously always eat smothered pork chops. So I wanted to switch it up. So I just decided to go with smothered chicken and it turned out so good. We absolutely loved it. Having the chicken versus the pork chops, I felt really good because as I said, we seriously always eat pork chops. So this is a way for us to kind of slow down on the pork chops and incorporate chicken into our meals rather than always eating pork. Whenever our food is done each night, I really do love to get it ready and set at our dinner table. That way we have everything we need at the dinner table and nobody has to leave or get up and do anything. And we can just conversate with ease and just hear about each other's day and just have a good time. And it's a smile on your face. So the very last thing that we had to add to our salad were the eggs. You guys, I do not like hot eggs in my salad, so I usually will put them in the freezer or the fridge so they can chill for a little bit before adding them to my salad so it doesn't melt the cheese or anything else. You are my world in every place. So a little side story about dinner on this night, you guys. We had gotten everything ready and prepped on the table and then we realized that we didn't have any ketchup. So Jake went, you guys, he went all the way to the grocery store. We have a 24 hour grocery store where we live and he went there to grab some ketchup and I'm just so grateful. It is times like this that just makes my heart melt because he goes above and beyond for me just for the smallest things like getting ketchup so we can eat dinner. So once we were done with dinner, I wanted to go ahead and get the table cleared off and the leftover food put away. Everyone did have seconds, some of us even had thirds, so it wasn't that much to put away, but I wanted to go ahead and make sure I got the rest of the meat put away. And then after this, we went ahead and let the kids ice the cupcakes.
park and a few brave stars I give you the moon and my all is yours Don't hesitate, just give me your all Just give me your all So before we got our babies ready for their bath time and bedtime routines, we wanted to just let them ice their cupcakes and visit. This is how we still connect with them after what feels like a long and busy day for us all. So once we were done icing the cupcakes, they wanted to have some sprinkles, so we did that and I just wanted to share with you guys how everything looked because they were so happy with how the cake and the cupcakes turned out. I just let them enjoy a cupcake before they went to bed. Everyone was happy. Jonah probably took about a few bites and then he gave his to Jaquin, but aside from that, they were super excited about doing this activity with us and we talked about it a lot and we just had a lot of fun getting our mind off the busy day that we had. So once I moved into our kitchen, I just wanted to go ahead and get all of our food put away. And you guys see Jake in the background. He's tackling laundry and getting it prepped for the next day. And I just want to say that I really appreciate him, you guys, because these past few days I have been kind of down and I haven't really focused on laundry a lot. So I know that I'm going to have a ton, but I appreciate Jake for getting it all prepped and sorted out and ready to go because it would be all over the place if he didn't. Our nighttime routine will generally consist of me putting all of our dishes into the dishwasher. I'm not going to lie you guys, some days we will go all day and our dishwasher will be completely empty and we will just, you know, neglect putting our dishes into our dishwasher. So they will get piled up. 
But at the end of the night, I try to make it my business to get it all put away and clean so we can go to bed with a clean kitchen no matter how late it is. So here at the end of the night, I did have to pick up a few cleaning products that we had taken out from underneath the sink. You guys, in the middle of this video, I actually, I don't know what happened, but I ended up moving something off the countertop and my SIM card was in it and it slid underneath our kitchen cabinets, you guys, my SIM card did, my memory card for my YouTube videos. So Jake and I, no joke, took about 30 minutes with two butter knives trying to get my memory card from underneath our kitchen cabinets and there was just a small tiny crack underneath our kitchen cabinet that allowed us to get it but you guys when i tell you my heart broke and it also rebuilt in the same night it completely did because i had taken maybe like eight hours this day that you guys see to film a completely different video and the sim card was underneath our kitchen cabinet so it was a must that i got that out and we did and i was so happy
Okay, you guys, so that is the end of today's video. I really hope that this video motivated you to get some things done around your home, and I really hope you enjoyed coming along with us to tackle the evening. Here is the end of the video, like the clip that I'm gonna share with you guys of me getting my memory card for my camera. You guys, I was so excited. Jake went even cut his finger tonight trying to help me, so I just wanna say once again, I appreciate him for helping me get this because it was not an easy thing to do. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.